Uh, you tweet, uh, DOJ tells Matt Gates they will not charge him for sex trafficking per standard and best procedure uh, before, uh, but Jim Comey and Hillary Clinton, they don't say anything else, but previous reports indicate DOJ had a real heartburn with the credibility of the 17-year-old at the time victim. Um, also, you know, I was quoting Empty Wheel, who said, for those asking why DOJ didn't charge Gates, one problem with the allegations is the star witness, Joel Greenberg, manufactured an underage sex allegation against someone else. Well, I assume, Harry, in all of your prosecutions that you've been involved in, a lot of the people you're counting on are not <laughs> the most upstanding of people. Right. 100%. But, By the way, Empty Wheel, not not a fully enough appreciated. She's, she's yeah. really uh, good and worth listening to. Yeah. Everybody knows Getz did all the conduct here, including stooping a 17-year-old. There's really, we, the DOJ knew that that's why it took so long. But and you're right. All the time, you have credibility issues. You know, Bragg is in D, in Manhattan's uh, wrestling with that with say Michael uh, Cohen and Greenberg wasn't the only person here. The other was the victim herself. Mm -hmm. But you know, I do not believe I've been there. I don't think they shied away because he's a Congress member. But they looked at it, and both the victim and Greenberg, uh, you know, were were very. Um, uh, impeachable witnesses so it's not like the basic and they also had they had you know yeah. they had the receipts literally from the well, hotel I, and Harry the I was gonna say for a lay person like me and a lot of people we go he had it in his Venmo he asked for a pardon for this does that not argue on the other side I understand yeah. what you're well, saying well gets asked for a pardon for anything and everything it does argue on it but they took a really hard sober look this happens and it's like you have to decide it ethically if you don't if you don't think it's probable you get the conviction you can't bring it so i just got to think that this victim was a is a trainer i mean who what 17 year old goes for a lobster dinner with with uh with you know gets and and gets in drug orgies with them this is not going to be the, the, the most solid she was really the key we weren't there, but i can you know i think when doj looks her over and talks it through it's like Oh man, she's just a mess. We can't we can't bring it on her back, and she's the only only one we got. And you know, Greenberg. Well, Greenberg was there. He was also a yeah. good one. I'm sure it was a close call. It went on for a couple of years. I'm sure the asshole's going to just crow as if he was exonerated oh. when you know they just decided <laughs> not to bring charges. He's a a creep, you know, a cretin on steroids. But I have no doubt it was a straight up professional assessment that like. Man, we bring this 12 jurors beyond a reason. It was a surprise ending, season. like us having to dump you just then for saying hole on the air. So that was a surprise. Say, I didn't say it. No? Oh, oh you, don't you say it again. You misheard me. Okay. Yeah. All right. You don't work that I blue. I said big hole. He's in a big hole. Uh, he's in a big hole oh, legally, okay. Chris. Okay, we, we, we read something we, different. Yeah, we did not hear that. You we overreacted. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, thanks as always. We've linked to your piece in the LA Times. Yep. And, uh, and yeah. they've got a YouTube channel now for Talking oh, Fed. We need to... Yeah. Talking Fed. Yes. Fantastic podcast with a YouTube channel now. Yes. You can yeah, just drop the the one-on-one -on -one with Rachel Matt. Out. Check it out. I was what? really happy with it. You couldn't Very get cool. any other bookings? Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> that I guess. is so cool. That's great. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Harry. Always great to see you. Hope it's not so long next time. Yes. Yeah, yes. Harry. There he goes. Hey, all. Glenn Kirshner here. I hope you'll join me on my new audio podcast, Justice Matters. I'll be using my 30 years as a federal prosecutor and Army JAG to unpack, break down, and explain the legal issues of the day, particularly where the legal intersects with the political. Please look for Justice Matters with Glenn Kirshner wherever you generally get your podcasts.